Hey, in this episode of Know Your Investment, we're going to learn about call options and be as familiar with them as the back of your neck. Wait, wait a minute. All right, let's take a look at what call options are, why they're important, and how are they priced, a little bit of that. So what are call options? Call options are a type of investment where you pay a premium that gives you the option to buy a hundred of, uh, of an investment, for example, a specific stock or an ETF. Now this premium that you pay for the option to purchase these shares at a future date is a type of, the shares that you're gonna buy is a type of leveraged investment. Um, at the same time, you're not obligated to buy these shares. So if the investment goes south, you don't have to buy those 100 shares, um, but you do lose the option premium that you paid. So let's take a look at an example here. So let's say you want to take a uh, masseuse program certification that costs $10,000 right now. And you knew that three months ago it only cost $7,000 and maybe the price goes up and down because of you know supply and demand, right? And so the school right now is giving you the option that uh, you can lock in the price of 10000 right now because you want to take this class in January of next year because you're busy right now and that's just when you're available to start taking classes. So if you get this ch- choice that they're going to give you, but you have to pay $500 right now for the textbooks and syllabus and then you get to have that uh, choice to buy it in uh, January for $10,000 regardless of the price, uh, how high the price goes. So, but they also uh, lock in the price but if the price goes down, let's say it goes down to $5,000, uh, you can just walk away and not have to take the course, but you do lose the $500 that you gave to buy the books and the syllabus information. So that might become useless. So now let's look at the price in the future. So come January, the price is now $15,000 for the course. So you already locked in that 10000 price, so you're good. You get to buy that course at $10,000, and basically you save $5,000 or let's say you gain $5,000 and then you can attend the course. You can also probably sell that course to someone else maybe and you would gain that $5,000 let's say. Okay, now let's say that the price of the course went down $5,000 so it's only $5,000 and you can just walk away from that. And there's many reasons why that course might be now only $5,000 because let's say that the uh, masseuse is not the in career because acupuncture is now the the hot thing and maybe you need a diverse set of skills now you need both maybe or a course that teaches both so this course is no longer favorable and you can choose to walk away now and so we'll probably walk away and lose that five hundred dollars that we put in um now let's say that when we bought the books we could have the option to sell those books during you know the time so i bought the book for five hundred dollars with that with that associate option and that let's say i can give that books to someone else so that as the price was going up to fourteen thousand dollars let's say as it near january i could sell those books let's say for a thousand dollars because someone's willing to pay a thousand dollars for those books and with that ticket price of being able to for them to buy that course now for ten thousand dollars um so then this is kind of like I'm getting really into the options part of things. So for example, in options, when you pay a premium or the option price, then you get to have that option price. And if the stock goes up, then you can uh, either buy those hundred shares in the future at that lower price, or you can trade that option and sell that before it expires. And when the option is not in the money, you have the option to walk away losing the option price or the premium that you paid because when the contract uh, expires the value of the option is worthless. So with options comes risk and the risk is the full amount of the premium that you're putting in. So that's good to know. So if you only want to risk a certain amount of money then that premium value is what you have to pay attention to. And so one thing to know though is that most options are sold before they expire and that's good to know because there's a reason because if you were going to buy 100 shares, it's better to buy the 100 shares outright uh, and not pay the premium. So that's something to consider. That's why the contracts are mostly sold. And another thing to know is the longer term 
that call option a less risk. So call options are very risky, especially short-term call options. But the longer term you have for that option, the less risk that that will be. And call options are really good to be able to leverage your earnings. And if you really believe in a stock, uh, you should probably have some call options just to capitalize on those gains. And again, minimizing your losses by having a long-term uh, call option. And call options and put options are also used for hedging in different investment types, different investment classes, or uh, if you really believe in one stock, but you think it's going to go down short term, then you can put a put against it to make up for that loss that you're expecting. But then if it doesn't happen even, then you have so much in that stock that losing the money from that put doesn't even matter. So things, things like that you can look into. Now let's look into the actual price of a call option. I understand a little bit about that. So a call option's intrinsic value is the stock price minus the call price. So that gives you the call option intrinsic value. So another key thing that amounts to the price of a call option is the time value. And the time value is equal to the option price minus the intrinsic value. And you can mix this formula around to see how the option price is equal to time plus the intrinsic value. Anyway, so another quality to know about the time value is that it's an exponentially declining value. So a general rule of thumb is that one third of the value of time is lost in the first half of the contract. And the second half of the contract loses two thirds of, it, of the time value. And so what that means is that basically the closer you get to expiration of the contract, the more value it loses. And so keep that in mind when buying and selling options. And especially if it's a short term option that you're buying, don't wait until the last few days because you're really going to see a huge decline in the value unless you're really expecting a huge event from earnings, which is really more like gambling. So be very careful with short-term call options. Definitely talk to a financial advisor when dealing with the call options and understanding and learning what you should be doing with call options to enhance your current portfolio. Well, I hope you learned a lot about call options today. And remember, these videos are for your informational and entertainment purposes only. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.